यू नो पावर बी आई बट स्टिल यू हैव लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन योर माइंड हाउ डज इट हैपन वाई इट हैपन्स हाउ कैन आई डू दैट दिस इज द सीरीज फॉर यू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ एबस्ट्रैक्ट थीसी सीरीज एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द न्यूली रिलीज फीचर इन फेबरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री that is conditional formatting based on string fields so till now what used to happen is the conditional formatting especially when we were doing the rule based conditional formatting it was not based happening based on the text field or the string fields it was basically numbers so now what has happened from february 2023 you are getting that uh, wish list fulfilled where you actually wanted to do the conditional formatting based on the text so where you can write down okay if it my text contains something or contain have a certain value i should be able to give a color based on the text values or the string values so now let us go to the power bi and try it out so what i have done is in the power bi i just tested it out a little bit small sample on brand where i am able to color the brand based on the string so i'll tell you how i have done it so let's create a new page i already created a new page here with the plus button and i'm going to bring in a new visual here and the new visual is going to be on category and this is the same model i am using which i am using for most of my other videos on abstract thesis series the uh, the i'll just give you a quick glimpse of the model i have the model is basically um, i have a sales table at the center joined with date item customer and geography all one to many single directional join and category is coming from item table which is joined with the sales table on item id so now let's bring net is major available there and i'm what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this visual as a bar visual i started with the table click on a visual click on the column cluster bar it will become a column bar now i have a column bar and i'm go going to go to the format your visual and inside that one i'll go to the columns and i can see the fx sign now remember the functionality of seeing fx sign means you have you are not using legends also as well as you are not using more than one major so let's validate that it does that is still hold true so let me bring in a legend here and if i go here and if i look at the columns you can see the fx button is not there so that thing is still holding true let me remove the brand and let me bring in one more major here and see is the conditional formatting getting supported on more than one major no that's not also not happening so we will go here and cross this out so we have we can have multiple column on the axis that's i'm going to show you a little bit later but now we'll go to the column we'll go to the fx and here you can see already it is selected rule based conditional format formatting you have the category when you selected it gives you first or last option i'll going to keep it first only and then i can start typing my rules so my rule is category is category 1 this is not only option i have i have option like contains start with does not contain does not start with is is not is empty and you can also handle the blank is blank is not empty is not blank these are various options available so i will say is category 1 i'm checking for the exact value and let me make it uh, you know this color and let me add another rule so i have five categories so i'm going to add four more rules and let me paste category 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 and category and let me change it to category 2 category 3 category 4 and category 5 let me go ahead and change the colors i'm done with changing of my color if i click on okay you can see based on the rule based on the string formatting i am able to get the conditional formatting done now the one of the advantage of having such kind of conditional formatting let me bring in the brand also into this visual on axis and that's where i said you know on the axis you can have more than one column and what happens instead of using the uh legend sometime we actually go ahead and use the axis instead of that and we use this expand now it is by default expanded the only thing which we have to do is we have to go to the x axis and say concatenated label off and it brings in a different kind of visual for us now this option of conditional formatting is only supported with concatenated label of conditional formatting is supported in the cluster bar also 
but the option of concatenate label is only supported right now in the column bar if you go here in the x-axis you will see don't you will not see that option uh, uh, here it will become y-axis and you will not see that option but concatenated label off is an option in the bar visual and you will be able to see that now what happens if I make it as a table visual you will uh, we have lost the formatting so basically let's go ahead and do it again so there the formatting is in the cell elements and in the cell elements we have to go category uh, we have to do it for each column so we I'm going to go to the category and I can you know write down first category and I'll do one color here just to showcase you let me add one more row and let's say category 2 I'll give you some other color So you can see category one, category two and same manner. I can repeat these things to have color for all the categories. I can repeat this all the rows. So all the categories look like similar in that the row. So the same rules can be repeated for each column so that the row also get the similar kind of color. So you can go ahead and try out this newly released feature. Do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.